1,456 students are registered for the Grade 6 National Assessment Examinations, which begin on Wednesday. Assistant Director of Education with Responsibility for Measurement, Anita Francis, says the administration of this year's examinations will differ from previous years. In light of the COVID-19 pandemic, candidates will remain in their respective school bubbles. Students will be at their own schools and we will, well, because of the nature of the exam, we will have what we refer to as a supervisor. That's the person who oversees the entire process on the school plan. That person will be external to the school. Examination invigilators will also be selected from teaching staff attached to the schools. Curriculum officer, she says, coordinates with the schools to identify the content covered over the school year. They generally would send out uh, um, beforehand uh, a listing of the various areas that will be covered on the assessment. So the students would have had, the teachers, sorry, would have had that information. And then based on that information, the exam is written. Francis shares the importance of the examinations. Facilitates the move from primary school to secondary school. It gives us an idea as to where the students are in terms of coverage of the curriculum leaving the primary school to begin a secondary schooling. Between Wednesday and Thursday, Grade 6 students will be assessed in four subject areas, language arts, mathematics, social studies, and science. Meanwhile, these Pickett primary school students are sharing with ABS their preparations for the examinations. I study three to four times a week. The school that I want to go to is Cernoval, which is a canoe. I study every day in my bedroom for a few hours. I also want to go to Antigua Girls High School. Rakib Aparicio reporting for ABS News.